Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video in today's video. As you saw from the title, very exciting solo trip to Puerto Rico. So excited. I've never been to Puerto Rico before going to San Juan specifically. I had this trip planned for August of 2022. Shirt. Work started working harder than work ever worked before and these last few months have been very work heavy. I booked this trip March of 2022 for August of 2022. I canceled it but I still got my flight credit to be able to use. I had to use it I believe before March 11th of 2023 and here I am one week before March 11th. March the 7th so right on time to be able to use that flight credit I'm not gonna let no flight credit go to race I surely am not so it is 8 57 my flight doesn't leave until 11 I have TSA pre-check now so your girl is solid however a lot of people are on spring break this week so I might need to get to that airport a little earlier this is probably gonna be a less chatty vlog just because it's about R&R &R for me. If you've watched my last two vlogs, you know work has been crazy for me. Work has been insane. And I wanted a little breaky break. There are excursions that I've booked. I pre-booked my excursions. I have two. One texted me this morning and said, can I come in at 9 instead of 11? Because the waters will be a lot calmer at 9 a.m. And so I said, sure. So both of my excursions, the next day and the next day, are at 9 a.m., which is why I love solo travel, because it's just me and I don't have to say, get up, get up, be on time, be on time. I can, I can be on time. I can regulate my own time and all of that. So excited for you guys to see that. Excited to explore San Juan, old San Juan, all of San Juan. If you want to go on this journey, on this adventure with me, let's get on that road now because honey no time to waste So I have checked in. I've been here for a few hours for people who are going to ask. Even when I say it in a video, I still get questions in the comment section regardless. But I'm going to say it now and hopefully everybody catches it. I'm staying at the La Concha Renaissance San Juan. I'll put it on the screen too so everybody can catch it. It's a very nice hotel. When I looked it up, again, I go by rankings. I go by how the reviews are for places. This was ranked number nine by US News and World Report. So fairly great rating when it comes to hotels and San Juan. I like the room. The, I mean, I have an ocean view. It's not 
balcony but ocean view i figured that would be perfect the view is immaculate today i don't know if it caught it but the sun was that bright orange sun when it was going down so gorgeous sun gorgeous weather weather i think every day it's like 85 86 87 highs love that i had just grabbed a bite in the hotel the hotel is not all inclusive there are i don't think are any all inclusives that i could find in san juan if there is one please correct me if i'm wrong but i when i was googling there are not any san juan all inclusive hotels they are u.s territory so you don't need a, a passport to get here but like most places in the u.s we don't have like all inclusive places in Myrtle Beach and stuff like that. So I wonder if they don't have all inclusives just because you can go out, you can get food somewhere else. It's kind of those places where they want to keep you on property that offer the all inclusive. So knowing for a safety reason, it's best for you to stay on site. A lot of those cities will offer those all inclusive resorts. However, this is not all inclusive, but I did get a lunch at the or dinner at the restaurant here on site. I mean, I don't know whether I was starving it's probably because I was starving. You guys have not seen me eat all day. Probably because I was starving that the food tasted magnificent. Great food, but probably because I was starving a bit, the food tasted better than I'd ever had. Your flight chase the weather, and I promise forever. So I am back in the room and I want to be on the beach because oh, 
you guys know the view from our room. Let me just, again, show it. Like, desire is to be out there, but body is like, I'm warm. It is hot outside. I don't know if you know if you can tell how much I've tanned, but I have um, already turned. I'm going to be back at work and be turning, turning shades, and I have two more days of outdoors things well a day and a half I guess of outdoorsy activities this morning my excursion started I had to be there at 8 30 and at 9 it was the snorkeling um, I saw a lot of reviews for I picked my excursions literally what Monday night I got here Tuesday um, so I picked them but I did a lot of a lot of like research monday night for like a few hours on what the best ones were this one was to, it said a very beginner friendly the people who had negative comments were talking about how beginner friendly it was like they were experts and they wanted something you know more expert level i'd say this is perfect for beginners when i saw that i was like okay well great because i'm a beginner you guys know i took swim lessons last year but i have not been back in the pool since like warm weather in North Carolina last year so I will be taking lessons again this summer but I still consider myself like they'll ask you at the beginning are you beginner moderate expert just to kind of get a grasp but it doesn't even matter if you cannot swim at all um, you have a life vest on the water is pretty deep so it's not if you are f a fearful of water probably not probably not if you are I'd say comfortable and comfortable in deep water where your feet are not gonna touch the water I say mm, in the deepest parts maybe it was 25 feet in the more i guess shallow ends i'd say maybe 15 feet deep um, so still can't touch the bottom if you, unless you're 15 feet tall you have a person with you you have the goggles everybody wore a life vest even if you were an expert you could take it off if you wanted to like if you wanted to and you were aware of your abilities and you felt comfortable you could take it off but I wasn't gonna take it off and I barely saw but like a couple of people maybe take it off out of the entire group we were in the water for a long time so if your endurance isn't there in water too I'd say maybe skip this um, I say it was like maybe roughly an hour or so of straight being in water so I enjoyed this excursion I thought it was nice they take videos say I went to have lunch after that at I'm not missing the name. I'll put it on the screen right now. Like I just had it. I guess it was those two uh, margaritas I had, which were fantastic. I wanted local food. Uh, this time around, I wanted to try very local foods. I mean, here again, being a U.S. territory, you have I've passed every single place we have in the states. I mean, there was a Popeyes in the airport. There was a Church's Chicken on the way from the beach. There was a um, Olive Garden. There's a SDK. There's a Morton's. There's like pretty much any place that I've had in real life i wanted to go to local places i want to try some places in old san juan because tomorrow my excursion is a tour of old san juan which i'm excited about and um the beach i went to why am i blanking on names right now i'm gonna put the name of the beach that the excursion or the snorkeling was at too i'm gonna put that on screen right now that was a nice beach like if I have this beach right here, but I guess if you're staying at a hotel that's off from the beach and you need a public beach that you can go to, that beach was a good option. I think it's probably where if you dock here for a cruise, you might would go or like just an open, nice open ocean. But yeah, I think I'm going to rest for a minute and then go to the pool. I'm not going to say I'm going to take a nap because I'm a big girl and this sun did not drain me in that way where I need to take a nap. But if I take a nap, don't be mad at me.
In the greenhouse, we can see the Cuban flag, the first one, second, the Puerto Rican. You know, we have the same flags with inverted colors. During the colonial period, Puerto Rico and Cuba made an alliance for obtaining independence from Spain. And we decided to have the same flags with inverted colors. So, same design. And the Puerto Rico and Cuba during the century. I'm 
So now I am back from my vacation. I got back yesterday. Today is actually Saturday. I got up this morning and I was feeling so relaxed from my vacation that I actually filmed some content this morning. So I have not filmed content. I guess this vlog is content. So what am I even talking about? But I look dressed up because that is what I have going on in real time beside me. However, let's actually get into my thoughts and closing out this vlog. I love Puerto Rico. I love San Juan. I told my mom last night because I had to call her when I got back home. I think this was my favorite solo trip to date. I don't know. I love San Francisco and LA a lot too. But I think think and I might not be capturing them all right now off the top of my head but last night I felt maybe I was on the high from the trip I think it was such a fun trip I think I did it right I think I'm getting into my groove of solo travel like I feel comfortable solo traveling but it's like now I'm starting to like I guess just be in my judge what has it been almost three years two years maybe three years of solo traveling personally of course I solo travel for work and stuff like that but like for me and for fun I think this was like I'm in my groove I'm in my sweet spot with it if I had to say if you're solo traveling for the first time ever whether you go to Punta Cana because Punta Cana was my last trip in the DR Dominican Republic or Puerto Rico definitely Puerto Rico especially for a first timer definitely Puerto Rico I enjoy my hotel the last hotel you know I stayed at was the Majestic that was all inclusive this was not all inclusive and like I said I think in the top of this video there are no all inclusives in Puerto Rico a lot of places that offer all inclusives a lot of the time it's because they want you to stay there for maybe safety reasons or just because they kind of want you to spend all your money there for spa services and all of that but a lot of times places want you to stay on resort because it's safer Puerto Rico is not an unsafe place it's not high on the threat level it was just an overall better experience in terms of the hotel stay uh, when it comes to that hotel I think the food I tried to do a good mix of food at the hotel and food outside of the hotel as you saw because I want to give a good indication of like the hotel food which I think the hotel food was really good I didn't try every single restaurant there again because I want to try outside restaurants I'm not beholden to the restaurants on the resort like I was at the Majestic which y'all know I rated that food maybe a three Did I give it a three or four food was trash food was trash this food and it might be because you pay for it there's a different level of maybe love that goes into the food when you're actually like externally paying for it and so that food was good I, I went to Sol Solera a couple times which I should have split that up I shouldn't go in there twice but I just was kind of exhausted that day so I went there um, I had the loft which is the breakfast restaurant that you can overlook the, the pool or you can overlook the ocean unfortunately I had to be on the pool side I really wanted to be on the ocean side but it got kind of packed they have three pool areas too um, they do have one adult only pool section but I never saw kids like throughout my stay there I didn't see a child like even if you watch the vlog I don't know if you captured it like if you spotted the child but it was like where's Waldo with the child and when I mean child I mean I don't know if I saw anybody under the age of 17 18 like I, I really didn't see a small child a baby like I didn't see kids so you saw me in some of my pool scenes or if I kind of swiveled over a pool you never saw like children you know children overtake pools really heavily like children be loving their pool situations so there was an adults only pool area which I went to it just wasn't giving they have a bar at that pool too as well but I don't know it felt like I wanted to go to the other pool because again it wasn't as if I was overcome with seeing too many children there were not a lot um, and it might be because I think spring break for children is next week this was college spring break so there might have been some college age children there that I just didn't really not children but teens young adults there that I didn't kind of like pay attention to but there were no real children children school age children there so if you want kind of that 21 and up feeling without paying for a 21 and up price you guys saw there was a thing on my wrist throughout you had to wear that um because even I had mine on at the pool or not at the pool but at the beach one day and he was like are you a resident I was like oh you can't you can't see he was like, oh okay okay I just didn't I didn't know they are sticklers about having that but the beach is there the chairs were not like a fight over to get the chairs they had umbrella plenty of chairs plenty of umbrellas nice beach they did a good job of getting the seaweed so it's not in the water so it was a back away
away from the water, which is good so you could step your foot in it without having seaweed. Uh, most beaches, you're going to have that seaweed situation, especially in the kind of, this is a high current season right now, so a rip current season. So there's going to be something, but they did a good job of not having it like just seaweedy everywhere. The local food was so good. I loved it. I could swim in that rice. I could swim in that rice. I'm a rice person. I love some good rice and I love Caribbean rice. I go to Caribbean Hut here in Charlotte maybe once a week. You can catch me there. I go there once a week because I love curry rice. I love any kind of flavorful rice. I love the meats that go, I combine the meats. I get the curry chicken with curry rice. I combine it, the same situation here. I liked that skirt steak that I had with that rice. Mm. I took one bite, I was, I was done, I was in heaven. So the food I liked, again, on resort or on hotel and then off hotel as well. So I think I also enjoyed this trip because I've now realized that I need to book some excursions when I go to these places. Like, they don't have to be too crazy because again, I'm on vacation and I want to rest. And I think I put in enough rest time with also excursion time. Love the walking tour, learned so much. Learned so much about the history of Cuba, the making of Tylenol, the Bacardi, how they're big with rum and vodka, which made so much sense later because I was like, I love tequila. Y'all know tequila is my base drink, which when you're in Mexico, so many things are like tequila, tequila, tequila. Here it was so rum driven that I was like, why are we getting, what? I don't want no rum. I want something with tequila. But I'm like, oh, because that's their thing. They're, they, they're a big rummer. Rum vodka. Everything was like rum vodka. So that, they're talking about the distribution of how they make Tylenol there. They make Viagra there. All of that good stuff. So this walking tour, I learned so much. But there was also a cruise ship that if I, I don't know if I caught it when I was coming in. When I was coming in for, for my tour, the cruise ship was coming into port. It was at port like by, I don't know, like 11. I saw that cruise ship. That cruise ship, I don't know what it was. It wasn't Carnival, it wasn't Royal Caribbean, or nor was it Norwegian, because I recognize the emblems on those. I don't know what that cruise ship was, but that is a good cruise ship port. To come right there at Old San Juan and to be there, like you get a perfect kind of placement right there to do all the stuff, to be a part of all the activities, to go to the beach and do all of that. Like I'm like, whatever that cruise ship is, I haven't been on a cruise ship that ported at anywhere in Puerto Rico, I don't believe. But if someone came to San Juan, I need to be on that. That ship probably cost a lot of money. But I think this would be an amazing port to explore. I love snorkeling. I adored my time snorkeling. My mom texted me and was like, how did your hair hold up during snorkeling? Like, I sent her a picture because she was like, I need proof of life after the snorkeling. Because I read on the news, you know, you know how they, they, they fear. They will fear. I heard on the news something, something, something. Um, but so I sent her and I said, you know, I'm alive. And she was like, but the hair. How did the hair hold up? I mean, we'll get into the hair in the hair review video. You'll see that. You'll see more on that. But um, I was like, you know, thumbs up. The hair, the hair going to always hair the way the hair needs to hair. That is that. I enjoyed my trip. I really enjoyed it. I hope that you guys enjoyed it too. You guys know I try to bring you along as much as I can, but I also enjoyed the trip at the same time. Like, who is going to be walking around like this their whole vacation? I'm somebody who I know I'm a vlogger and a YouTuber, but I'm also a person who really needed this vacation real bad real bad like I have a full-time nine-to-five job I'm not a full-time content creator so I took you along as much as I could I hope you enjoyed as much as I could show you make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't we want all the love and support over here on this channel we also want you to subscribe so you don't miss anything because I think I have a very fun travel girl year for you guys you guys want to see what's in store because I'm already I think three trips booked you down but you guys will see what those entail if you're subscribed and you have that notification bell on so you don't miss a thing that I do make sure that you're following me on Instagram at lelavon89 because you would have known that I was there not in real time but maybe like a few weeks before at least this vlog TikTok I think you would have kind of known I was there in a little bit in real time I had a video on TikTok that went a little viral got like 50,000 views about the shower heads in the hotel shower heads were those waterfall shower heads so just be mindful of that bring a shower cap if you don't like the shower heads where the water is flowing directly on your head so follow me there if you want to see some of my shenanigans from behind the scenes and I'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye